and soil That's the only bit of toil The seats you keep Those ones you will never reap Get out to make hay Keep the pride and heat away That's the only That's the only way to go Patience, come here. Mm. Sit down. Is anything the matter? No, sit down. Okay. Why are you returning Titi's food? He doesn't want to eat now. You returned the tray yesterday filled with food. What's going on? I don't know, Ma. He just doesn't want to eat. He doesn't even touch it. Does his mother know? I plan on telling her this morning once she's out. No need. I'll handle it. Oh, Ma, she needs to know. If not, she... I said! I will talk to the boy. You can leave now. Okay, Ma. Hello. I don't have any more money to send to you. For the past three weeks, I've sent money home more than five times. I'm not plugging it, you know. Bye, Michelle. Hey. What's the matter? Nothing. If you're going to be us, you can't be hiding stuff from me. Talk to me. What's happening? It's my sister. All she does is ask for money. She's supposed to be the breadwinner. But all she knows is to collect, collect and collect more. I'm tired of it. You have a sister. That's all you heard? Sorry, boo. I just realized I know next to nothing about you. I know nothing about you either. There isn't much to know. Uh... My parents died when I was 11 in a motor accident. I'm the only child and I've been hustling since they died to where I am today. Your turn. We are late for the office. GD. I don't talk about my family. You have to be used to it. Eventually, I will be. No patience. Open the door, let Ma, me go and see Ma, the boy. No. Open the door! What's wrong with you? What's going on? What's going on here? I want to see the boy and, and patience was... Was just sweeping the floor. Sweeping the floor? Yes, madam. Eh. Ah. Haven't, haven't you given... Why do you have the keys in your hands? Hmm? Have you not given him breakfast? Um, isn't it past breakfast time? Yes, madam. I just want to check if... Uh, um, if he... Check you just... Ah, what? Enough of all this! Ah. Your son has not eaten anything since uh, yesterday and patients were trying to take me there so I could talk to him since you have decided to turn yourself to an absentee mom. What is wrong with you? Absentee, mom. Are you called Madam Presentee, mom? What difference did it make in my life? 
Not today, Coco. You know what? I'm late for work. Did you just say work? Did I hear you say work? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that all that matters in your life? Eh? <laughs> your son, your own child that you carried in your womb for nine months, no matter the conditions, eh? Is going through maybe the worst time of his life and all you can think about is work? <laughs> See, you will get old. You will get weak. You will be frail. And you will grow as I have grown. You see, that your work, your people, and all the clans you have will not be there for you. We, your family, are the ones who will be there for you. Your work will fail you. Because work is not everything that matters in life. Open the door for me. Thank you. Hello, Didi. I'm not even late. Why are you calling me? So I see. We need you at the office now. Okay, calm down. What's going on? There are two people here. They look, I don't know, what it, scared. Coco isn't here yet. And... Hello, Coco. Did you just call me? She says there are two people at the office and they're seriously battered. So, are you ready to talk now? Yes. Who are you and where are you from? My name is Tonga. I come from Nairobi, Kenya. And you? I'm Bayo. I'm from Nigeria. And you know each other. You're safe here. No one can harm you. We both work for Jambo. Who is Jambo? He's the devil's incarnate. Jambo is the most notorious kingpin in charge of all forms of illegal migration and child trafficking in and out of Ghana. And you both work for him? I mean, do you help him traffic children and young people from Ghana? No. No. We are one of the people he promised to help. But he has been torturing us. I came in from Nigeria to find greener pastures. But his boys caught me at the border. Since then, he promised to help me find my feet in Ghana. <coughs> but I've been starved, beaten, and changed to do oh gosh so, to do his bidding sometimes criminal ones is that your story too well yes and no the torture and criminal work is true but I wanted to live here. I wanted to leave Ghana. Not stay here. He promised to get me into Milan. And I have been paying my dues to achieve this for over a year now. Wow. I have to verify your stories, if they are true. But in the meantime, 2IC here will take you to a place where you'll be safe. Safe? No way you safe from Jambo. No way you safe from Jambo. Then you don't know who I am. 
would be funny. I enjoy your new. Do you want some more? Say. No, don't call me Say. Call me Uncle. Call me Uncle Coffee. What happened to my mommy and daddy? Nothing happened to them. So, why don't they want me? Is it because I cannot see? Is something wrong with me? No, there's nothing wrong with you, my darling. You're a very beautiful girl, okay? See, mommy and daddy have little issues to settle, okay? When they are done with that, they'll definitely come. Would you like us with that, those? Yes. Good. But are they going to come back soon? They will, as soon as they are done with their issues, they will come, okay? So I'll finish up with your food. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you're excited about starting your new school. Are you sure about this? I called all the contacts and indeed, there's a jumble. He's very popular in the underground world. That means, that means they were not lying. No, they weren't. What would you do about this? Right now, I want to eat. Kobe, please come to the office. What did you just do? I just called Kobe. I thought... Did I tell you to call him? Have I told you that I can't do that? What's wrong with you? I thought you were tired, so I wanted to be of help. I, I did didn't... I ask you a thing? If you called me, madam. Uh, no, I, I, I did. Well, I did, t technically, but she did. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't need you here. Okay, is there anything you need me to do? No, no, do for me, me. Do anything for me. No, you can go. I thought you were hungry. Call me, please. Hey, hey, hey. In fact, both of you should leave. Drop the documents and go. Go! I don't want to bore you with my work. Oh, don't mind. As long as it's your voice, I'm very fine with that. Oh, well, um... There's a serious case at the office today about illegal migration and a certain man called Jambo. Jambo? Wow, that sounds like something in the movies. And you always say your work is boring. Well, anyways, have you had dinner yet? Or I should come over? <laughs> that sounds like a snack. But I'll pass. Let me go fix something. Okay, um, they're safe. I took them to second base. You know I don't know those terms. Speak in a language I understand. <laughs> second base is the safe house in Suyani, behind government building. All right, I know that one. Anyway, did he just confirm to me that Jambo is real? He seems like this is a very serious case, so let's keep a close lid on it, okay? Of course. Hi. Hungry. See you tomorrow. Bye. You're back. Yes. Welcome back. Thank you. And how was your day? Good. Just some slight pain in my stomach, but I'm okay now. Good. That reminds me, eh? I booked an appointment for you to see my doctor tomorrow so we can have a clear idea of what's happening. Okay? Oh. No need for that. You know how we still die. No cure. It's cancer. Ma. Just let me go when my God called me. I know, I know. But so far as I'm alive, I cannot let you suffer through this. So you are going to see the doctor, and that's final. Okay. 
I also want to thank you for this morning and for talking to Titi. I really appreciate that. I'm happy I did too. I have a surprise for you. Surprise? I really don't think that I'm in the mood for any. Patience! Bring the phone. 